Good day friends, it is me, HL Mod Tech, and I saw a user ask how to make a double trapezoid. I've got some ideas, so let's get cracking. Alright friends, so first things first, get into Tinkercad. Once again, I sign in with Google, and let's choose Create New Design. Quickly, I'm going to rename this, I'm going to call it Trap Fun, and under basic shapes there are no trapezoids that we can play with but there are some down in the all shapes before we do this though let me show you something really kind of sweet if you zoom to 80 percent you can actually see these numbers at the bottom and switch pages a lot easier so we need to go all the way out to page 10 to find the trapezoid the double trapezoid and the customizable rhombus Lots of cool pieces you can play with out here. I'm going to switch my zoom back to 100% and let's bring out the double trapezoid. Now it has got a base width, it's got a base length, it's got a top width, it's got a top length, and it's got the height. These are all measured in millimeters. I'm going to scroll in and zoom at this. You can see right here, 2 centimeters, 20 millimeters. This direction, it is 15. So if you've got a custom size you're trying to make, you just change these. If I want mine to be 45, I type the 45 and press enter. Make sure you give it time to create itself before you move on to the next step. Friends, before I go any further, just remember if you ever stretch one of these handles, it totally breaks these measurements. So I am gonna build today just using these. If you wanna build with these, it is fine. Just understand that you've gotta type the numbers out here to get the measurements that you expect to see. I'm going to do Control z to put that back where it was, and let's continue. I'm going to do the base length and make it 30. And that's how easy it is to make a double trapezoid. So now, friends, we understand the parameters. If I understood this user right, they want to flip it over. So I'm going to look at it from this corner, and I'm just going to rotate it 90 degrees. Now, if you stay in the middle of that circle, it snaps. If you come out, it goes one degree at a time. So see how my mouse is a long ways away? Now my mouse is close to the shape. That's the way you snap it where you want. I'm gonna put one on top here just for fun. I'm gonna do that by hitting work plane, which is the shortcut, W. I'm gonna do control D, which is duplicate, and then press the letter D to stack it. Now once again, let's practice that rotate trick and boom, stay close to the shape, 90 degrees, and we have just created a crazy easy shape with some super slick and useful skills. If you bring out any shape right here, what I always recommend is just play with one piece at a time. So total height, that's easy. It'll stretch just in this direction. Height of mid, I don't know what it does. So I'm gonna type an easy number like 10 and check it out. From the middle, it moves it up 10. So all of a sudden we have made a coffin. Lots of times I just pick shapes, play with the shapes, and come up with what it could possibly be. You never know what you're gonna make. I'm gonna change the top depth. Let's put a five here, because I don't know what this will change. And then once we click it, oh my gosh, it puts a little spike on top. Can we do a negative? The only way to find out is to type it in. Holy moly, it does sink it in. So friends, the moral of the story is play. If you've got questions about this stuff, keep on asking it. There are so many cool groups on Facebook and Reddit, and it's a great way to figure out what you're doing and have a ton of fun building with Tinkercad. Friends, if you've got questions, you can also reach out via Facebook, Instagram, and Gmail. I am HLModTech on all of those. You can also find me on Twitter. I am HLTinkercad. And of course, friends, if you visit hlmodtech.com, I have a website and I have an entire tab dedicated to Tinkercad. I've got circuits, code blocks, I've got what I call the 100 Light Club, a designer showcase where I showcase cool things people made, and things you can 3D print in Tinkercad. Have fun, explore, and if you've got a question, don't forget, you can hit that messaging button and almost instantly reach out to me with a question or a comment. Friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.